Hey everybody, so I've definitely cracked the code on making homemade dog food for a finicky dog, especially a finicky husky. Sasha's super finicky, and I tried a couple of those fancy pants home delivery food services, and you know, I still had to struggle with her. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's all right. I've still got, you know, still got some in the freezer. So I looked at the ingredients and I just decided to make it myself, and it worked. And I tweaked it a little bit, and now it's a hit. She loves it. So, you know, what I did was I took out some of the uh, really healthy things that don't taste good, made it a little less, and then I added a little more of the things she likes. She really likes sweet potato. So this recipe is really easy to make. Um, God, I'd say it's maybe 30 to 40 bucks, but it makes a ton of food. I mean, it lasted, you know, like a month. Um, and it's healthy fur and it's good. So I highly recommend it if you ever want to try it. And uh, this is what it looks like. Right now, it's um, I'm boiling that's uh, chicken thighs. So it's one whole package of chicken thighs, four large chicken thighs, uh, six sweet potatoes, one butternut squash, four chicken livers, four chicken gizzards, and um, what else? Uh, like a small piece of ginger, handful of fresh rosemary handful of fresh oregano and I'm cooking it in uh, you can do chicken ball broth or bone broth but you have to make sure it's dog specific um, they can't have garlic or onion so on Chewy I found the really cheap um, doggy chicken broth it's only like three dollars a thing highly recommend and then if you want to go extra healthy more protein and collagen uh, bone broth it's good for humans good for dogs and I found this on Amazon more expensive but better for her so I actually use both I use uh, two boxes of bone broth and a box of chicken broth and uh, once the sweet potatoes are done the chicken thighs got I've been cooking them maybe like hour and a half they're they're cooked and then I throw in a sweet potato waiting for them to be soft should be done uh, pretty soon then um, I'm gonna throw in uh, one cup of peas about a handful of cranberries, maybe a quarter cup. Um, they're bitter. They don't like the taste, but they're good for them. So, you know, not too many. A uh, cup of spinach. This is frozen spinach. And then I'm going to grill this up and throw that in. That's um, fresh salmon. And that's it. Then once all that's cooked, I put it in a big blender. Blend it up. Um, she likes the consistency of almost baby food. Like, not, you know. Like in between baby food and solid food, she just likes to like lick it up and uh, makes it easier to store. Just going to put them in little individual sandwich containers, stack them in the freezer, and then as they need them, you pull them out. Usually like a minute, minute and a half in a microwave, you're good to go. Instant doggy food. So um, yeah, it's actually easier than you think. It's good for them. And, you know, this isn't, she isn't like, uh, you know, three bowls, six cups of dog food, three cups of dog food, whatever, a day type dog. She's, you know, sometimes she eats very little, sometimes she eats a lot. So it works for me, and I think it'll work for most hus huskies. Usually I'm just giving her this, like, once a day, probably the equivalent of a cup. And then I supplement it with uh, dry dog food, have kind of like a three dry dog food rotation going, um... She likes Purina, Purina One Smart Blend, the red bag. And then uh, she really loves this like limited ingredient salmon dog dry food I got on Chewy. Forgot the name of it. Loves that. And then, uh, and then I'm throwing in, uh, I'm not getting paid for any of this. I'm throwing in another Instagram food I found um, called Jinx that uh, has chicken and sweet potato in it. She kind of likes that. So I'm actually on the first bag of that. I'm trying that, but I'm, you know, kind of rotate. And supplementing with fresh, healthy dog food. And hopefully she'll live forever. So, hope this helps everybody. Take care.